this is my predicted match day 23 for the Springboks team who take on Argentina next week in Argentina. Before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't and if you found value in it. And of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really, really want to know what you guys reckon of this Bok team. I think I've gone pretty safe. I have could have gone a little bit more bold, uh, but I decided, you know, let's show the Argentines that respect uh, Los Pumas who destroyed Australia last week. Um, so let's get into the video again. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's get into the front row. I think they're going to start with Gerard Stierenkamp, a guy who's been really consistent for the box and have been key to the box success this year. If you think about, if we didn't have him, we'd be a little bit stuck with Kitsi injured. And I think they're going to go with Malcolm Marks, especially given our Walana Rose at the beginning of last week. I don't think that they're going to go with someone who's a little bit less experienced uh, in, in Johan Grobler. I think they're going to go with Malcolm Marks to start and then Grobler to come on early uh, off the bench. And then Thomas Atoy at three, someone who really impressed me uh, for playing for Bath and of course in the Sharks before, but someone who's been really patient um, and a little bit unlucky in the Springbok setup so I really really think that he'll start with him and I really think he'll go well as someone who deserves a run on start for the Springboks. In as mentioned earlier with our line out woes last week I think we're going to go with a little bit of consistency there. I think we're going to start with Ibn Etzebeth. He's not going to play the whole game. He's not going to play very long and then of course Ruan Nokia. I really think that they're going to go with a little bit of consistency keep building, keep building and allow Ruan Nokia to make his mistakes and then fix them. Um, I'm not saying his line out Lionel's last week were his mistakes, but I think that they're going to want to um, give him a go. They could have gone uh, Nicolas Janssen van Rensburg uh, to just throw him in the deep end and let him start in Argentina. Um, a really tough test. And they all oh, they could have gone Ben Jason Dixon even or Salman Murat. But we'll get into those guys for the bench. At six, I think they're going to go with Marco van Staden. I don't think Sia Khaleesi has, has gone on this tour to, uh, to play. I think he's possibly there for a mentorship role and a leadership role. And then at seven, I've picked Ulrich Lowe. I know his preferred position is probably eight, but I think they'll go with seven. He offers a line-out option. And at eight, I've decided to pick Kwaka. Although he has a massive impact off the bench, um, I think he's going to be rewarded with a start um, for, for, for all of his hard work throughout the rugby championship. And I think they're going to play him at eight. Um, he's going to carry hard. He's going to make steals and his make his tackles. The back line is where things get pretty spicy. I've decided to go with Jaden Hendricks at nine. Only because Grant has, has, and Kubis have played already and started games, I think Jaden is going to get a go to start and he is going to be partnered with Marnie Libok. I know it is a bold call. I watched Marnie play against the Pumas in the Curry Cup um, and he didn't have the best of games um, but I think that he's not out of the, the Springbok mix and out of Rassi's plans just yet. And then at 12, I'm going to pick Andre Pollard um, and I'll tell you why because I think he offers experience to Marnie, a little bit of guidance, and he could also take over the kicking duties from Marnie Lebok and allow Marnie just to play his game. I think that's where Marnie sort of goes a little bit wrong. He focuses too much on his kicking, or his kicking distracts him in terms of, you know, he's so good in open play, but if he's missed, uh, what's it? four out of five kicks in the game you know pretty sure that plays on his mind and it sort of affects his confidence so I think they'll have Andre there to calm him down uh, talk him through it and then of course take over the kicking duties and he'll kick for poles he'll kick for touch and allow Marnie to just um, to play an open play where he really thrives in the centres I've gone of course I've just mentioned Andre Pollard and then at 13 I'm going to play Lucanio um, I was half tempted to put Kane and Moody there uh, just because I think that is going to be his position for the box in the future but Lucanio Am hasn't played a lot of rugby and I think they all want to put minutes in his legs so we have consistency and momentum in that 13 position. That is why I decide, that, that is why I believe they're going to select Lucanio Am at 13. On the wings, I think they're going to go Makazoloma Pimpi and Kurtley Orense and then at 15, Air Fassi. Guy who showed what he can do and now it's about just expressing himself on the field. The bench is probably the place where we can play around a little bit and, and where I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are around it. Do we go 5-3? Do we go 6-2? I've gone 6-2. I've gone um, uh, Johan Grobel at 16 as reserve hook. I think he'll get quite a few minutes and then Jan Hendrik Vessels and Vincent Koch on the bench. At 19 I do believe that Nicholas Janssen van Rensburg is going to get a go. Uh, he's been in the box mix before. He's only played one game and I think what better test to see if he can handle it and can play at that level against Argentina in Argentina against a really really strong pack and a, and a 10 that kicks and gets go forward and, and, and really big big ball carrier. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes especially at line out time and at set piece. And then I've got Ben Jason Dixon. I think on the side of the scrum 
he'll cover that and Ulrich Lowe could possibly go to, to eight uh, and then Ben Jason on the side of the scrum with Quacha maybe back to six or taken off. Then at 21 I think they're going to go with Jasper Viso just to give him a little bit of momentum. Um, he he came on, uh, he came back from uh, his ban and really had a good go of it uh, and then of course against Cape, in Cape Town he, he got that yellow card. I think they're going to want to give him momentum, um, you know, allow him to keep up with the pace of the game so I think I think they'll play him at 21. And then at 22 I've decided Grant Williams, versatility, he'll play on the wing and scrum off and then Kane Moody at 23 again for his versatility he can play wing he can play um, in the centre so that's my match day 23 um, I could have gone a lot more bold for instance like hear me out it's probably a little bit mad but I probably could have gone um, you know maybe instead of picking a Ben Jason Dixon you'll put you'll put Jasper Visa at 20 and then Malcolm Marks at 21 uh, it's a bit of a bold um, unpopular opinion but maybe you could have played on the side of the, the scrum I don't think they're going to do that that's just me throwing uh, vomiting um, information and my thoughts out there so ignore that um, if you like the video please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already uh, it really really helps me massively um, on becoming the number one sports content creator in South Africa thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one